What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Nerd Show. Today we're looking at the brand new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze figures. So we have this awesome four pack where we get all four turtles in this awesome box design, which I know it's going to be hard to see because of how big it is, but it's in a box design like the old VHS tapes. And of course, this was a movie I grew up watching a lot as a kid. This is definitely my favorite of all the turtle movies and I just watched it all the time. I know it's not a favorite. A lot of people, people think it's stupid and stuff. But like I said, growing up as a kid, I watched this all the time. This is probably one of my most watched movies as a kid so I love this movie and just seeing this box and pack and stuff just brings back a lot of memories of watching that movie so it looks awesome with our four turtles all the turtles and accessories and stuff will get there on this awesome box design like I said that's like that old VHS case and we can go ahead and slide it off and then we have our four turtles so we have Leo, Donnie, Mikey, and Raph so all of those look really cool with their designs from the second movie so a little bit updated from the first one so of course we'll compare those figures just so you can see what is different but they all just look super cool and very like realistic and stuff and very much how they do from the movie so I'm just excited for that and if we spin it around we can see more pictures with all the different accessories and stuff and what you can do with them to recreate scenes and everything there so that is awesome for the four turtles now with this we do also have the shredder so we did get the shredder and it looks pretty awesome so it's gonna be him from the movie how he looks from there so you can see that in a better picture of him there so just with the different color outfit and some accessories that he gets from the show and that modified helmet with like the blade on it and stuff so looks pretty cool there and then we even also have the accessory pack to look at so the secret of these accessory pack that comes with a lot of cool accessories to fill out stuff from the movie and stuff of course little scenes and stuff that I remember and we'll have a lot of fun with those and stuff so all the different accessories we have through there so we have this pack as well to look at so we have a lot of things to look at here of course with the turtles they're all going to be the same so we only really need to look at one but we'll do comparisons between all the figures from first movie to second movie and look at all the accessories as well so let me go and get these open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So here's the four turtles out of the pack, and I think they look really cool. These are really awesome. As I said, I watched this movie a lot when I was a kid, so just seeing these figures and all the accessories and stuff they come with just brings back so many memories from watching this movie, but they all look awesome. So of course, we have our four turtles of Roth, Leo, Donnie, and Mikey, and all of them look pretty cool. You know, they do look how they do in the movie. I love their different like little smiles or smirks, just whatever faces they're making with their eyes and stuff, and then of course, all their different colored bandanas to you know, signify each of the different turtles, and all the like little spots and stuff they add to them so we'll probably work with Donnie most of this episode so you can see all the like spots around so it's supposed to be you know like turtles had the spots and stuff so they add them always reminds me of, like liver spots so mostly up on the head and then going down the arms and legs as well just looks pretty cool so they have the all green skin and then of course the turtle shells so have the more yellowish brown color for the front of the shell and the darker brown and I like how they have designs into it so of course have the like little swirl designs but also you can see it's almost got like a little X or star design whatever you want to call it there and then of course they each have different bands so Donnie has his band so belt design going around to the back with the strap coming around with the little bands to be able to hold his bow staff and then of course their bandana so for Donnie he has purple so he has the purple going around with the knot and then the tails coming around so each of them have the same sort of design here and then Donnie he just has kind of like this little smirk so his mouth is fully closed but the little smirk and then the eyes are sort of like beating there and just kind of looking straight out and looks pretty fun and everything of course they were the big animatronic turtles so they always had creepy looks on their face but then they have the elbow pads and wrist guards and then they also have knee pads on there going to their bare feet where they have the two toes and then their hands where they have the three fingers so looks pretty cool overall you know it looks pretty similar to the ones we've had before I will be doing comparisons to each of the other turtles but just wanted to show this off and of course the other three turtles are all going to be the same just obviously the different colors with the headband and then the way their belts are designed so Mikey and Raph have just the single belts with the whole like holders on each side and then Donnie and Leo have the straps that go up around to hold their weapons but let's start with the movement so for Donnie we'll just do it again so the head can twist around with the head tails you have to be careful of them getting caught but it can twist all the way around and then he can look down that far and up that far so just a little bit back and forth there so not too bad we then go to the shoulders that can come up probably close to 90 of course they're NECA so we did heat them up and get them loosened but they've kind of tightened up a little bit so can't get all the way up to 90 but it can rotate around we get the double elbow joints so we have the upper elbow joint and the lower elbow joint and with those they can bend but we have the elbow pads that are going to get in the way so you can only get about 90 there unfortunately so if these elbow pads and knee pads weren't in the way we get much better movements but then there's also twists we have twists like at the upper bicep and then going into the forearm as well so each of those moves and then of course we do get the wrist that can twist around and rock back and forth 
Now for Ab Crunch, we don't really have much of anything. There is like some different movements and stuff in there. So you can kind of get the turtles to rock back and forth. You can see some like just gap movement in there, rock back and forth, and then maybe a little side to side as well. But the hips can come up and of course they're real squeaky and make a lot of noise, but you can get them up probably just about that far without going too far, trying pushing it too far. So it's still under 90 and then out to the side there, not far from doing the splits for them. There is a thigh twist built up in there as well. So twist around a little bit with the double knee joint that can bend up again could be better but because of that knee pad it gets in the way so about to 90 once again and there is a twist at the upper knee joint there so it can twist a little then we get the foot that flex back and forth and can twist side to side so overall they're not bad they could have better movements but a lot of the stuff just gets in the way and then the stiffness of the neck joints but one thing I really like with these and I've been saying it and noticing it with more recent NECA figures is they're not as stuck as they used to be like we don't have to heat as much stuff up as we used to like in the past joints were just completely stuck we'd have to heat them up to even get any movements at all but now we can do most movements right out of the box there are some movements that you know if they start to feel a little bit tight we will heat them up and then we just kind of do an overall heat of the figure just you know try to get stuff loose as, as possible but overall they are all pretty good like we barely have any issues with the turtles so that's one thing I've noticed more about the NECAs like in the past few months that they've been getting better with that so hopefully that's the thing they've changed on their production side and it gets better going forward because overall I love the looks of the turtles but it's just really hard when you get them and you have to fight with them and heat them up and all sorts of stuff just to be able to make your action figure move but that's the movements on the turtles and again that'll be the same for all four so we don't have to look at all four of them but then we can go and look at all the different accessories so we'll look at the accessories first that the box itself came with so they came with a various number of hands of course they all have grip hands on but they came with hands that you can sort of pick and choose between the different turtles so first off we get a set of thumbs up hands and we pretty much have two of everything so you can just like I said pick and choose if you want but we have a set of thumbs ups we have a set of open flat palm hands so just with their of course three fingers there with the thumb sticking up a little but we have palm hands kind of more specifically for Raphael we have hands that can hold the side I'm sure you, other turtles could use it with different stuff but they're kind of positioned for Raphael to use his size so those are mostly just for Raphael and then we have an additional set of grips with different grips so a wider grip and then a grip maybe more for like pizzas and stuff because a little bit thinner space there for that but just different set of grips now we also get an additional forearm for Donatello so that's one thing I forgot to point out so we'll bring him back so on his arm here on his left arm he does have a like additional thick wristband so it kind of sticks out a little more so with this you can pull it to the side to reveal a face there and it's supposed to be a watch so it's supposed to be when they're in the junkyard and trying to save Raph when he's all tied up and they're like we should be probably getting attacked right about now and when he says that he's looking at a watch so he has this little watch thing that's got this little like leather flap over it so you don't really notice it so if you want you can pull the forearm off and put this forearm so he doesn't have that extra thicker band there so if you don't want that you can switch this out kind of pointless but it is nice that they include that so if you want to have a uniformity between all the turtles we'll do the weapons last just for uniformity but we'll go through all the other little stuff so just some additional things so first we have some ooze containers so the ooze or mutagen whatever you want to call it but the tgri containers so we have one full of the ooze so we see them discover the secret of the ooze of course so we have a full container and then one that is all empty there so we have those two which is pretty cool again with the tgri the turtles love their pizza so we get a pizza box so we have this pizza just says pizza and you know has a guy throwing a pizza so it's probably one of the pizzas that Kino delivers in the movie so just the pizza and then I like the inside so it is just an empty box it is like cardboard and paper so you got to be careful with it but I like how it looks all dirty like there's been pizza and then even has the cut marks in it so like you know they actually cut up the pizza so pretty fun that it comes with that so we do get another one with that accessory pack but this is just the thing we'll have to be careful with but it's cool that it has come with it and for this as well we do also get some pizza so we have a lot of half-eaten pizza slices so we have these so again we get four slices there that people have eaten so we can put them in all their hands if we want so make it like they ate the pizza so we have four of those and then we have a full slice of pizza that has the hole in it and it's got the nice cheese slipping down so from the beginning of the movie when they're in april's apartment and they kind of play football with the slice of pizza and they end up catching it on Raphael's side so you can put it onto the side there with the like I said the cheese all dripping down looks cool so fun to have the different pizza for the turtles we never use these accessories but it's fun that they include them we get some accessories from the beginning of the movie with the opening fight scene where they're in like the little mall shopping area thing so first we get the foam bat so they pick this up in the toy store I think Donatello is doing it where he's trying to pretend to be like the little thing that kind of wobbles back and forth and the foot soldier hits him and he leans forward grabs this and comes back and starts hitting the foot soldier with it so it's just a little foam bat design so pretty fun looking thing there and also from that scene Michelangelo falls behind the meat cutter and comes back with combat cold cuts so it's supposed to be like sausages or whatever these things are connected there so he comes out with these instead of his nunchucks and he chased the foot soldiers off of this so pretty cool that they come with that as well so if you want to give Michelangelo 
some combat cold cuts. And the final accessory outside of the weapons is we get a fire extinguisher. So we see this in the final fight scene against Toka and Razor. To where they get the anti-mutagen thing to activate, they have to give them carbon dioxide. So they use the fire extinguisher hose and stick it in their mouth and it reverts them back to their animal form. So we just get that fire extinguisher included as well. So besides the weapons, that's it for all the other accessories that get thrown in with this main pack. Then of course we do have that accessory pack, but now we have their weapons. So first we've got Raphael's size. So we got his size there. So we can go and give them to him. I may just go and store these all on him for now. So we'll put him like for Raphael in here on his holder. So he has the little holders here in the front. So there's Raphael's size there on each side. We get Leonardo's two ninja kin or just swords, sort of like katana swords. So it's two swords there that look pretty cool. And again, for him, we'll just stick them into the holders here on his back. So there are his two swords there. For Donatello, we have his bow staff. So it just looks like a brown stick with some wrappings there in the center. And again, for his, I always hate his because they give it like these little ribbon things. So we have to try and slide it down in without the ribbons completely coming undone. So let me try and get this in. So there's Donatello's staff on his back. So you can kind of tighten those up as well once you get it slid in. So it just kind of sits on his back like that. And of course, finally, we have Michelangelo's nunchucks. So I have the pretty similar design. It looks like they may have the wire and stuff in the center so you can sort of pose them around and everything. But we'll put them in the holders here on his side. So there's the nunchucks in his holders. And unfortunately, they're kind of more to the back so you don't really see them as much, especially if we put his arms down. So it kind of hides them away there, but they are back in there. And then his belt like keeps falling down for some reason. So there we have all the turtles with the weapons. And of course at the end, I'll put them all in their hands. Now, before we move on to the next figure, let's go and look at the comparison between each of them. So let's look at the Secret of the Use version of Raphael versus the first movie version. So you can see there is a bit of a difference. It looks like they brighten up more of the colors like with the bandanas. And of course have a little bit different looks that could just be neck of themselves or going more along with the movie. So they do have a little bit of a different look to them. And overall the colors are a bit different where the newer turtles seem to be in a darker shade, like especially with the shell collar and the skin itself. It looks like they changed up the knees and elbow pads and stuff. The belt with the holders seem about the same, just like they changed a little bit of the design and color. And pretty much all the turtles have the exact same, except Mikey now has the holders on his belt where he doesn't in the first one, as we'll see. But just the overall comparison there, you can see between the different turtles. Ooh, even their shells are different and stuff. You can see that. So just minor differences between the two versions. And here we have the same for Leonardo. Again, second movie compared to first movie. Again, same pretty much color differences and stuff. So not a whole lot's going to be different. Just the stuff I've already pointed out with the colors and then just the overall shades and stuff. So overall, not much different. Just all minor stuff that has switched between the two. Again, to give it more of that second movie look. I think these look much more goofier, but I love that look. And then we have Donatello, which I just realized how high up his strap is on that first figure. Just it's almost up around his chest. But again, just the minor differences with colors. But overall, like color wise, they don't look too much different. The purples look almost exactly the same. But again, just the minor changes. And finally, Michelangelo. So it actually looks like the new one has a little bit darker orange color compared to the original, but the bodies are all going to be the different colors. Like I said, the new one has the holders for the nunchucks where this other one doesn't, but everything else is, you know, just the same differences between the two we've already seen. They both have smiles on their face and stuff. So perfect for Mikey. But yeah, that's just all the comparisons between the second movie Turtles and the first movie. Now, before we move on to Shredder, let's look at the accessory pack. So with this, we get different heads for each of the Turtles. So for Donatello, since we started with, he's got a smile on his face. So he's got more of a smile. So like I said, he just kind of has like a smirk there. So he's got a smile with the big eyes. So you could switch that head out and they all pretty much have the bandana tail coming around to the front which is fine so they're out of the way but he's got more of a smile face there you can choose from for leonardo we have more of an angry face or like a stoic face so no smile or anything since he's got kind of a smile there so we have that stoic face for leonardo for michelangelo we have a stoic face as well since he's got the big smile on him so a stoic face for michelangelo and then for raf we get two heads so first we have like a smile head or a head where his mouth is open so it could be talking or kind of doing like a raf smile since he's got like an angry face on there and then we also get a head when raf is captured captured at the foot clad and junkyard where he has the duct tape or whatever on his mouth when he's all tied up. So cool that we got that additional head thrown in. Then we have a lot of random accessories of just stuff throughout the movie. So let's say towards the beginning of the movie when April first comes home and sees all the turtles, the turtles are kind of cleaning up her apartment and doing different stuff. So they're sort of cleaning. So they have aprons on. So we get different aprons. So we have this one that's more of like a purple design with the different patterns, whatever, like quilting design. And then we also have a pink one. So again, we could put different ones of these on each of the turtles and have them so like they're cleaning up her apartment and with that as well for Donatello we get his staff with the mop heads on it so we have the mop head on the ground where he's sort of like mopping and then the one up top and he's sort of like dancing around like kisses it and stuff so pretty fun and again it's his bow staff with mop heads on it so that's cool and finally we get some scrubbers where they're cleaning the countertop and Mikey I think it is does the wax on wax off 
from Karate Kid. So pretty fun. We got the two brushes there. Again, we can recreate that scene. We have a scene later in the movie when the turtles are sitting on April's couch watching the news. We get a lot of stuff of snacks they're eating and drinking. So first we get some cups. So we have a blue cup and a red cup and the red cup has a straw. I believe Mikey once again or somebody's drinking out of and they're making serpent sounds and stuff and being annoying. But pretty fun with this that we had cups just like this. The exact same type of cups they use in the movie. We had those growing up. So it was fun that we see those and like we'd recreate the scenes and stuff at home. But yeah, we just have a red and blue cup with some liquid looked probably like Coke or something in there. And as I said, they're eating a lot of junk food. So we get a lot of junk food to go with it. So first we have the chocolate bar again. I always want to think it's Mikey, but it could just be any of them. But one of them's eating the candy bar and it just keeps crunching real loud. And they're like, would you stop? And then he pauses for a second, then takes a really big bite out of it. So again, we have that chocolate bar and then more junk food. We get a bowl of popcorn, it looks like. So just like a metal bowl here full of popcorn, as well as two bags of chips. So just some plain chips where we get the regular potato chips and ripple version. So again, just two bags there to throw along with them. In the movie, the turtles eventually move out of April's apartment to find their own place where they find like the train terminal underground. So first for Mikey, we have a hat we could put on his head. So he's got the hat where he's saying goodbye to April and quoting the line from Casablanca. So we have that hat. So much like Raphael's hat from the first movie, but Mikey's wearing it this time. And again, it has the piece where his bandana will stick out. I don't know how well this will fit on his head. It kind of fits on just like that. So you have to get the bandana sort of poke through first and then it just sits on his head like that. It looks sort of funny. And of course, moving out, they have to have a suitcase. So we have a suitcase that they can carry stuff in and it actually does open and you can sort of store stuff inside here if you want so any of those accessories and of course has the handle you can put into their hands so just a lot of stuff all over the box probably some fun stickers and stuff hidden around for backstory of stuff with turtles and everything there so a nice little suitcase and when they're down in the new subway they call april and they call her on the payphone but they're also like carrying it around as they're talking to her so we get the little payphone that we could obviously put into their hands you know put the phone and then them carrying around the payphone i know like donatello and stuff talks to her so just nice little payphone design looks like yeah it even has a hole there so you could actually mount it on something so like on her display if we wanted to put a little screw or something and we could mount this on the wall so fun that it comes with this and how realistic and nice it looks there's a scene in the movie when they break in the tgri to figure out stuff about the ooze and they get on a computer so we have a keyboard and a computer again an old computer probably an apple of some sort but they're going through and it says all the canisters are disposed so they're going to dispose 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 till they find one that's active and it's the last remaining canister which could be the one that came with them where we have some others again a computer to recreate that scene and then we also get a guitar which I don't remember being in this movie at all but it could be like when they're at the concert you know the Vanilla Ice concert maybe one of them I think it shows like Mikey on the box like holding this so maybe he could have picked it up or that's just included you know because of that musical set we did a while ago but yeah it's just a keyboard on a guitar style so you know kind of play it like a guitar but with the keyboard key so that's pretty cool again that that's included but like I said I don't remember this being in the movie we get another box of pizza so again just like the other one so it's a pizza box that has pizza slices but more complete slices in it this time and then finally we get a newspaper from the very end of the movie where Splinter is reading the newspaper and it has Ninja Rap is born of course from the end fight of the movie with Vanilla Ice and stuff and Daily News newspaper and Doc demolished overnight of course with this destroyer with them fighting Super Shredder and everything and then all sorts of, like newspaper stuff printed there so pretty fun that that's included of course it is just a piece of paper so we have to be careful with it but nice little printing there of the turtles and stuff so pretty awesome that that is included and the final thing from our accessories is of course our villains when they get turned back into their animal forms when they demutate them so first we get our snapping turtle of toka so toka now turns back into a normal snapping turtle which i will bring the normal figures in but we get toka there the little snapping turtle it does have some head movements on like a ball joint so you can move around a little bit but not much so we get the snapping turtle as well as the wolf for razor so we have a big wolf it looks really big here but it looks pretty nice again its head is on a ball joint and can move around a little but not much beyond just sitting there looking cute whoo that was a lot of stuff to go through so let's look at shredder now so here we have Shredder from Secret of the Ooze. And again, I love Secret of the Ooze. So this is how I always picture and like Shredder looking where he has more of like the saw blade metal on his head. I think it looks really cool. So it's like the saw blade or just like little saw design there around the front and the top for his normal helmet design with like that samurai helmet. Always think that looks really cool. So this is the way I prefer him. And then also being in the more purple outfit compared to that reddish color that he has. So it looks pretty cool. And overall, the figure is going to be pretty much the same. So if we bring in the one from the first movie, we can see the differences. So overall body is pretty much going to be exactly the same I would say there's probably not going to be much difference body wise they just took it and redid it so they went from like this reddish maroon color to the purple which again I like the purple much more the helmet designs are different so again in the first movie he got thrown in the trash and sort of compacted and sent to the trash dump where we see him sort of appear at the beginning of this movie with his hand busting through the trash so his armor and stuff got all destroyed so he has to have a new one so different helmet design and everything there and again I like this second movie ones much 
more, as well as the purple outfit, but everything's pretty much the same. Still has the same armbands with the spikes, shoulder pads with the spikes, knee guards with the spikes, has the toe shoes, and then like I said, the outfit's pretty much the same, just in a different color, but they do have different cape designs. So this one I liked a lot because it has the wire in it, so it moves around, and then has what I guess would be like zebra stripe, tiger stripe, whatever you want to call it. Well, this one has a different design, and it's a much better like quality material. Like it feels so much nicer, and you can kind of feel like the texture to it of this design. It almost looks like a flower design or something with the silver on the black. There's just no wire cape or anything with this one, so you can't really move it around too much. Where this one, he was covered up more, so it kind of goes up over his shoulders. Where in this movie, he was almost always uncovered like this with it just draping in the back. So I kind of like that he doesn't really need it. It kind of stays back there all by itself and out of the way. So figure-wise, there's not going to be much any difference, except the second one doesn't have the claw on his hand. It's really the only difference between the two and the collars, obviously. And like the first one, the face mask does come off. It's a little bit hard to get off and hard to get back on, but we'll take it off. So you can see the unmasked face of Oroko Saki, and this time he's played by Francois Chow, and so it is a different actor, but I assume face-wise they're going to look pretty similar, but you can see he's got the all cut of face, maybe even more damage and stuff with being in the trash compactor, but I believe the face-wise it's probably going to be pretty similar overall. But we can do his movements, so his head can twist around a little. Again, with his helmet design, it's hard to get sort of twisted around, but it can twist a little back and forth, and he can look down that far and up that far. So not the best movements with this, mostly because of the helmet being in the way. But I did want to do the movements of the mask so it doesn't fall off. Then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 and rotate around. You kind of have to get it out to the side if you wanted to go all the way around though. But we have the double elbow joint that can bend up and bend pretty far better than the turtle since he doesn't have the elbow guards in the way. But it can also twist at both joints. Then we get the wrist that can twist around and flex back and forth. The guards on his hands are kind of in the way so it's hard to get it to flex but it does move back and forth. Then we have a crunch and twist at the waist so he can crunch just a little back and forth and twist all the way around. The hips can come up under 90 but this time mostly because the underwear piece so just that far and then out to the side it can go about that far. There is a little thigh twist up in there just a little bit. The double knee joint that has the different style knees and with that he can pretty much kick his butt. Then we get the foot that flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So overall much better movements than the turtles but that's kind of expected because of their elbow and knee pads so not really surprising but does overall have better movements compared to them. Now he comes with a number of accessories so we get some additional hands. He's got two fists on currently. We get a set of grip hands so we can hold different weapons. We also get a set of open hands with splayed out fingers so like you could do like I said the scene where his hand reaches out through the trash so you can kind of recreate that if you want. We get canisters of ooze so just like the first one we have another canister of TGRI ooze there so just full container with the green ooze but we also get a vial as well so a little like vial or whatever here with the stopper on it with the ooze. This was with him I don't remember if it came with him or not but it's the broken canister of ooze and I know like Splinter has this in the movie so I don't know why it came with Shredder but like I said I may have put it in the wrong pile from the accessories but it's cool that it does come with it because like I said this is a thing from the movie so Splinter has this to show the turtles where their origins came from and puts the canister together showing its TGRI and then that's when they go there so pretty cool it comes with the broken empty container we get the giant dandelion so this is from a scene in the movie we're close to like an industrial accident these dandelions are growing real big so we know that's sort of like the origin of the ooze that made the turtle grow and that they'll use in the movie and stuff so this giant dandelion that they pick in the movie and then he comes with weapons which I don't remember him using any weapons in the movie but he does come with them so first we get a sword so we have a katana sword here that looks pretty cool with its design looks not too dissimilar from Leonardo's but we have that that comes with the sheath and I assume with the sheath he has like a rubbery band around his waist so you could probably stick it down in there and then he also comes with this long staff that has the blade on it and I think the last shredder came with it as well but it's just the thing they include with him a lot so it's got this big giant blade on the end of it and it's a long staff with a spear point on the other end so that looks really cool we could put into his hands but he doesn't really use any weapons or anything throughout the movie so we probably put like the canister the dandelion or whatever in his hands but otherwise for him you don't really need much to pose him up or anything but of course in the movie we see he's behind the creation of Toka and Razor to use the ooze to create his own soldiers so we can bring those in so here we can have Toka and Razor when they are born and of course they call him mama but there we have Toka and Razor and of course with that accessory pack we have the pre-mutated forms of the snapping turtle and wolf so we can have those there together to go along with Shredder so overall that looks pretty cool especially having these here together just need some foot soldiers now and of course we need Tatsu they've never made a Tatsu figure so it's like a little bald guy that's kind of second in command we need him as well to go along with this but overall pretty cool to have this version of Shredder to go along with our turtles and of course our Toka and Razor that we've had for a while well there we have all four turtles facing off with Shredder trying to stop him before he drinks the ooze then becomes super Shredder and all these look pretty cool so all these figures for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze are really cool I love the look of all the turtles like I said just 
seeing their looks brings me back to the movie I watched so many times as a kid, just so reminiscent of their looks from that movie. And then Shredder as well, again, with the Shredder look that I perform more than the original Shredder, and just all really cool figures. So it's awesome to get these two packs of the four pack of all four turtles. So we have them all done, as well as the Shredder we've had for quite a while and been sitting on. And then that accessory pack, they have all sorts of accessories to fill out scenes from the movie and stuff and fun little scenes again that bring back memories. And I almost forgot we also got a backboard display that we could use for the Dock Shore Club. So of course the club where Vanilla Ice is seen and they break into at the very end. So we get this like sturdy cardboard little sign thing we could use in the back as well. I forgot it was just kind of hidden in the back of the box and we almost missed it. So I had to set stuff back up real quick to show this. So yeah, just this nice sign with this graffiti Dock Shore Club in the background and stuff there. So I did want to throw that up as well so you can sort of recreate that in scene there. Like I said, I did want to throw that in there before I forgot and almost completely forgot about it. So just want to show that to you as well. Really cool for this set of Secret of the Ooze figures, in my opinion. Like I said, for me personally, I love the movie. I know a lot of people hate it, but I just absolutely love it. And let me know what you think of the movie as well down in the comments. But if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. And I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there, and I'll see you in our next review.